Today's episode is all about building the bed and creating this finish. Hello and welcome. I am Kim and together with my three dogs, Turok, Bobby and Pilu, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. As you can see, we are starting off where we ended in last week's episode. In last week's episode, I made the bed frame at the end of the wall build. And the next step is to put the slatted base on and put some vertical slats under the bed frame to give just a little bit more support onto the floor. Because I value the quality of sleep a lot, I for one chose for a fixed bed in this van build and I chose for a real bed. So I have a genuine slatted base and I have a genuine IKEA mattress. I got the slatted base on the internet second hand and I cut it to size. I cut a little bit of the bottom to make it fit into the car. Here you can see my amazing mattress coming. I also cut a bit of the mattress off. It's a foam mattress so it doesn't matter here where I'm touching it you can see that <laughs> it's not filled out because I had to cut about 30 centimeters off which is okay because I'm only one meter and 65 centimeters long which means that it should be long enough for me to sleep comfortably in. Spoiler alert, <laughs> I have since building this bed slept in it a couple of nights and it turned out that the bed was too short and I had to cut away the walls to make sure that I could have about 10 centimeters more for me to fit in to sleep more comfortable. This will be in a future video because I have not finished fixing this problem yet. Here I'm testing out if it is strong enough, if it feels secure enough for me to sit on. I'm also making sure that the slatted base is lining up with the bed frame. Here I'm making sure that the mattress is secure. And now I'm testing out to see if it's going to be strong enough for me to go on. This was a very uh, exhilarating piece because I know what I built. I know how strong it is. But still, testing it out is always a bit tricky. As you can see, it is super sturdy. And I have since sat on it with more people than one. And it just, it's okay. <laughs> it's strong enough. But it was very scary, see I'm still <laughs> hesitant to move around. But it's it's a very solid bed, so I'm very happy with it. Now that the bed frame and the bed is in, here comes the fun part. I had a design in mind similar to what the Indie Projects have, which is the Indie Projects have an L-shaped couch and then behind the back cushions for the couch they have little storage and I wanted that too so I got these very nice blue storage baskets that I wanted to use in the end I um, switched them out with and with other baskets because the blue baskets were folding when I put stuff in there and I wanted it to look nice so now I have new baskets which are made of wire and then the wire is covered in water hyacinth and they are called Yap, and they are from the Lane Bucker, and I love them. And I think I am going to get some more in different sizes for other storage shelving that I'm thinking of in the future. And I absolutely love them, and they're working perfectly for the goal I had in mind. Here you can see me sawing the sheets of wood I'm using. I believe it is 8 millimeter plywood, which I think is very nice to work with. I am now creating an L-shaped shelving to hold the baskets. I'm not sure if you can see, but I am not giving it sort of a ceiling, which keeps an open air ventilation for the bed, but also for the baskets and also for everything that is going to be in the storage unit, in the garage unit under the bed. 
because I think it's important that the warmth of diesel heater goes under the bed to heat everything that's under there so nothing get moist. Plus, my dogs will be sleeping under the bed and I want them to be warm and cozy. Here are the steps I took to attach the bed to the bed framing. First I drilled a hole, then I have this magnificent thing, which I do not know the name of, which drills this little hole to fit the screw in nicely, and then I attach the screws. If you know the name of the drill thingamajiggy, please comment down below so you can help other people find it if they want it. After I made sure that the bed frame and the bed sledding were secure, I started working on the finish. This makes it so you will not see the side of the bed. It just makes a nice finish so you don't see all the sledding. And I really love the way it's looking in the end. Here you can see what it looks like from the garage area. And here you can see what it looks like from the front. And this is the amazing finished result, which makes me so happy every time I look at it. These baskets are super convenient. They can hold all my clothes. And I love the feel they give to the van. Under the bed, we have this opening for the dogs to go through. And all of my dogs absolutely love this. It's also convenient with three little dogs when I'm cooking or walking around the van and the doors closed, they can go under the bed and be out of my way. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!